Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through a simple guide on how to use Deriv with TradingView. If you've ever wondered how to connect your Deriv account to the TradingView platform, or you're just curious to see if it's even an option, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to look and what to do so you can confidently check if Deriv is supported and get started if so. Let's dive straight in. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to TradingView. If you haven't been on their website before, it's one of the most popular charting platforms for traders, with tons of real-time data and powerful tools. Go ahead and open your browser and type in tradingview.com. Once you arrive, you'll see a clean, modern interface. Don't worry if it seems a bit overwhelming at first, I promise we'll walk through each step together. Once you're at the TradingView homepage, take a look up near the top menu. You'll see several options like Chart, Screener, and Community. What you're looking for is the section called Products. Go ahead and click on Products. This is going to open up a drop-down menu that lists everything TradingView offers from charts to screeners to the trading panel we need. Now, instead of getting lost in all the options, just scroll down to the very bottom of this menu. It's easy to miss if you're skimming too quickly, so take a moment here. Find the option labeled Trading Panel. Think of the trading panel like the cockpit on an airplane. It's where you connect to different brokers so you can place trades directly from the TradingView charts. Click on Trading Panel, and it'll bring up a new section on your screen filled with broker logos and tabs. Within the Trading Panel, the next step is to look for the All Brokers tab or button. Sometimes this is shown as a list or grid of broker icons. Click on All Brokers. This ensures you're seeing every available option, not just the featured ones. Pause here for a second and let the broker list load. There are usually quite a few, so don't worry if it takes a moment. Your goal now is to scan through the collection of brokers and hunt down Deriv. It's a bit like looking for your favorite cereal at the grocery store. Just scroll through and keep your eyes peeled for the Deriv logo. Sometimes brokers are listed alphabetically, sometimes not, so give yourself a little time to scroll. But here's the important part. If you don't see Deriv listed, don't panic. Unfortunately, that means Deriv isn't currently supported by TradingView's direct trading panel integration. TradingView periodically updates their broker list, so support might be added in the future. But for now, if it's not there, you won't be able to connect your Deriv account directly through TradingView. And that's really all there is to it. It's a fairly straightforward process, but knowing exactly where to look and what to expect can save you from frustration. If Deriv is available, you'll see it clearly. If not, you might need to stick to using TradingView charts and place your actual trades separately on Deriv's own platform. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough on how to check for Deriv in TradingView's broker panel. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Got questions or need help with a specific platform? Drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe for more easy-to-follow trading tutorials. See you in the next video.